All right, so lesson 117 is on finding a whole when a fraction is known. So here we have three-eighths of the townspeople voted. If 120 of the townspeople voted, how many people are in town? So when we're working with problems like this, it really helps to draw out what we're looking at. So I would be doing this table that we've done before. Okay. So it says three-eighths. So I'm going to be dividing up my bar into eight pieces. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Okay, eight pieces. So three eighths of them voted. So I'm going to mark three eighths. One, two, three. These people voted. That means the rest of them did not vote. Okay, so. And that would be if five-eighths did not vote. So we know that 120 people voted. So I know that 120 people have to fit into these three-eighths. So to figure out how much we go in each, we're going to do 120 divided by 3. So 3 goes into 12 four times. It's 12, 0, bring down the 0, 40. So we put 40 people in each of my eighth slots. 40. Okay, so now I want to figure out how many people live in the town total. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 40 people and multiply it by 8 because there are 8 sections total. So 40 multiplied by 8, 8 times 0 is 0, 8 times 4 is 32. So there's 320 people total in the town. And that's my answer. Okay. Here we have 6 is 2 thirds of what number? Okay. Again, I'm going to draw out my, my little diagram. And I know I'm dividing it into thirds because the denominator is a 3. Okay. And it's saying that 2 thirds here is the number 6 is 6. So that means that I have to put 3 in each box because 3 plus 3 is 6. Okay? And if there's 3 in those two boxes, there has to be 3 in this one. So I want to figure out the total number. Well, the total number is 3 times 3, which is 9. So 6 is 2 thirds of 9. Okay? And that's all. Good luck on your homework.